Yeah, the bike has brought me the best opportunities in life. It's given me the best memories of my life, right? Like winning those events, traveling around the world. Like, come on, like who wouldn't want that lifestyle? It was amazing. Next racer is the San Yodia. Crazy. I barely even got in this event. No one knew who I was, and now I win one of the biggest mountain bike comps. I think no matter what sport Paul would have done, he would have had the grit to be a champion. And then I'm in a weird situation because the bike also caused one of the worst situations in my life. You know, at one point I hated the bike. Next rider at the top of the course, this is Paul Basagodia, a guy who has won so many events in his storied career. Going long on the step down, can he hold on? Oh, oh, oh no. It wasn't the biggest crash I've ever taken in my career. I thought it was totally fine. When I hit the ground, I was so pissed, and I was like, damn, I gotta go up and do it again. I was ready to do my second run. Like, it didn't hurt, I was totally fine until I tried to move. And then that's when I knew I was in big trouble. And I couldn't move my legs. Looking back at it, I remember when I was getting like, this is crazy, when I was getting cut open in the ICU during surgery, you had a 10 and a half hour surgery. I remember having a flashback of 15 years of the bike. I remember like the first couple crank works. I remember traveling to Europe. I remember all those first tricks I was doing. I'm so stoked. I mean, last year I came out here, no sponsors, nothing, and then I won. And then this year, I can't believe I repeated. I remember waking up from the ICU. Ten hours later, wake up the next day, still no movement. Six months, still no movement. You know, wheelchair for a year. Holy shit, what just happened in my life? How are you feeling today? I was in a dark space. I hated the bike. I, I sold all my bikes. I never wanted to even look at the bike again. For me, it was like, what's the word? Um, insecurity of me, of my situation. You know, like wobbling around with a cane, like people looking at me different, like, must suck to be Paul now, you know? When you're at the top of the game, everybody's there. Everybody wants a piece of you, right? But when you're at the very bottom, that's when people should be there for the most, and that's where Cam was. Even in the early stages, he would come and visit me in the hospital. Weeks after my injury, he would still come to the hospital to see how I'm doing. When I go home, he's like, hey, do you need anything? He would always be there asking, hey, like, if you ever want to go and like try to ride that bike again, I'll be the first one to help you out. When everything's taken away from you, you appreciate those little, those little pedal strokes. Up on the mountain, caught on the real line. Up on the mountain, caught on the real line. My brotherly daughter, drink your wine, smoke your weed, my brother. Let the heart stop me. And where your silver line, where Don't feel normal. When I wake up in the morning, I look for my cane, I look for my bracing. But when I start riding the bike, it's the only time in life that I feel normal. But if it's the drug, the women, the white, the weak, the love, the truth, everything I owe, just take it off.
don't get why a lot of people are hating on the e-bikes. If it wasn't for the e-bike, I would be locked inside of my house, not being able to ride with my friends, not giving me the freedom to do so. You know I know how that feels. Don't get cheated, kid. Just swing from your heels. And if you get carried away, let the music play you through the pain and way. What helped with me, I can only speak for myself, is time and then realizing that no matter how bad your situation is, there's always someone out there that has it worse than you, that is dying to be in your position. Now live by that. Up on the mountain, caught on the rail line